My name's Kurt Landis. I've been a real estate broker in the Ogden area for 31 years now. I've just uh, recently, January of 2008, moved my, my real estate office, Kurt Landis Real Estate Services, to the uh, Times Square building on historic 25th Street uh, in Ogden, and it's just been a, a fantastic move. Uh, I've, always, uh, I've always been intrigued with, uh, with 25th Street and uh, it's just got a vibe that's fantastic. It's, it's fast becoming the most entertaining street in Utah and it's just been a real good move for me. After 32 years, you know, I've had, I've had a few awards and, uh, you know, they, they made me a lifetime member of the Million Dollar Club and then they changed that to the Sales Masters Club. And, and uh, award rather and now it's the professional achievement and, and so uh, I've been fortunate enough to to get those awards since they've been doing them. I actually started in Roy and then uh, went to work for an office here in Ogden then back to uh, uh, Roy then back to South Ogden and then now here on 25th Street. People don't realize in Salt Lake City just how affordable our retail space is on 25th Street. You can, still, you can still lease space for $12 a square foot per year on the main floor retail. Uh, office space, we still have some at $6 a square foot per year on the second and third floors. And um, you can still buy buildings on 25th Street uh, for $100 a square foot. So it's, it's, it's unheard of that you could, you could be in this type of an environment and be that affordable. And people in Salt Lake have never been here, just don't understand that. What the mayor's office has done is they've come up with a promotion to get new businesses to start or even existing businesses that want to uh, come to 25th Street and they've packaged a deal where they've gotten with the property owners, got an agreement for reduced rents to help them get established for the first uh, couple of years. They put a finance package together with it uh, through some of the local banks and through some money that will be loaned by Ogden City. Uh, they have uh, grant money available and the most important thing for people that are starting a new business, they have a mentoring program with this where they, they have other businesses that have been successful in the area and they're going to mentor these new businesses to help them be successful. If a business is going to come here, their employees are going to want to relocate here just because everything is here. In, I, I, go to Snow Basin and I leave my office and 25 minutes later I'm on the hill um, right outside of our doors most all of our doors you know we're on the on the foot trails on the mountain bike trails you know, Pine View Reservoir in the summer for water skiing Willard Bay I mean it's all right here we've got the we actually have two rivers running through the, ri through, the through the city uh, you know for kayaking and, and rafting and just you know fishing, whatever people want to do, it's all right here. And it's within minutes. And it's affordable. We've been getting all of this national press. I mean, from, from Sunset Magazine to Outside Magazine to New York Times, uh, uh, all of the, all of the uh, athletic uh, publications. Xterra has brought people in. The marathon gets bigger every year. People are, are realizing that Ogden, Utah is here. And before it was all about Salt Lake City. Um, Snow Basin has been a big part of that. As people come into Snow Basin, they came into Ogden and you know, didn't know this gem was here. And, um, and so that's why a lot, of the, a lot of the drive that's happening on 25th Street are people from out of state that are going, I can't believe that the real estate is that affordable in such a beautiful setting. I'm seeing a lot more foot traffic on the street um, with the front runner. Uh, and a lot more families since the horses went up, and I don't know if you've noticed that, but uh, we're getting a whole big diversity of, of people coming in. Uh, and, and that's one of the things we want to do with the association, is, um, is promote to get people that haven't been to the street here for their first time to see what we really have. The association is made up of uh, business owners on the street, and, uh, and some people that don't have business on the street but they're just real involved in wanting to see Ogden and 25th Street uh, uh, really excel. And it's all volunteer work and uh, everybody's just putting in a whole lot of time and effort and now a lot of money uh, to promote the street through advertising and, uh, and like we talked about getting the, uh, the other businesses down here. This is a, a, an office condo here in the Times Square building. And when I first had the opportunity to buy this space, uh, I didn't really have enough furniture to fill it because it's really a pretty good sized space. 
And uh, I'm happy to say that 90%, 98% of everything in this office was purchased from vendors on 25th Street. My, my furniture, my desks, my tables, my chairs, all came from Indigo Sage, which is right downstairs uh, in the Times Square building. The, uh, the plants, uh, they are uh, from um, Olive and Dahlia, just up the street, uh, a few doors. And the, um, the paintings on the wall, they're all the artwork of uh, Kara Colmes, who, uh, is, who has her gallery here on 25th Street above the uh, Bistro 258. And um, I started collecting her art when I bought my first building here. And she did a, one of her watercolors of the London Ice Cream Parlor. And that's where I met her, uh, uh, on the street. Uh, she had her, uh, her paintings out there. I think it was during the farmer's market. And, uh, and so I bought that one. And then I started collecting uh, the art of buildings that I've sold on the street. I've sold about four buildings on the street over the last few years. And so each time I'd sell a building on the street, I would go to her and get one of her, uh, her uh, renderings of that building. As you look around, uh, the, uh, every, every painting here is one of Kara's that she's done of buildings on 25th Street. I would say this is the place, this is where it's happening, this is the, this is the ground floor and, and um, like I say, I've been a, a building owner on the street for uh, 10 years now and I've seen more movement on 25th Street as far as business activity, uh, successful businesses, new businesses, out of state money coming in wanting to buy buildings, all in the last two to three years. More in the last two to three years than the, the full 10 years I've been here. So I think this is really where it's happening, and, and that's why I wanted to relocate my office down here, is because it's, it's, it, if people haven't been to 25th Street in, in three years, they need to get back and see just what's happening.